what is going on everybody Christopher here back with another American in Germany video I make these every week if you're into that kind of thing be sure to you're not gonna do that even anyway I'm here to talk about one of the things that I find to be one of the weaknesses for most Germans no I'm not talking about tardiness and no I'm not talking about a few leaves on your front yard and I'm not even talking about crossing the street before the light suggests what I'm talking about is something way bigger than you would even imagine. Something not anyone in this whole world can prevent. Something so untouchable yet not even able to be seen. That's right. I'm talking about the wind. That's right, the wind. So let me talk about this a little bit. So from what I've gathered, a lot of Germans seem to have this thing with wind. More particularly, isolated breezes. Such as the ones you might get, say, if a window is open slightly or a door is open slightly. Or maybe if you have, like, an unsealed leak that leads from outside to inside of your home. Or maybe even, like they have in the States, centralized temperature control where you can feel air coming out of the vents and things like that. Right, that kind of wind. From what I understand, the Germans aren't too keen on this. This might be more common within the older generation, but I can see how it can leak into the younger generation who were taught by the older generation and just didn't question it. But the specific type of German I'm talking about, they hate the wind, breezes, Durchzug is what they call it. And the reason they're so against this particular element is because they feel like it introduces sicknesses into their body. Or I heard from some that it could make their asthma worse. So post-production Chris here, and I realized that I forgot to mention that it's not only colds that they feel like they'll get from the wind, but some of them feel like they'll get something as bad as the flu strictly from the wind. Not only that, some of them even feel like they'll get other physical ailments like a stiff neck from the wind. Okay, get back to it. I don't have asthma and I don't know anybody that has asthma, so I can't speak as to whether it aggravates asthma or not. But the main point is they fear that they could get sick by having these breezes rushing over their body. Now, before people rush to judge and be like, no, they don't think that, that's not a thing. I got two instances that I wanna tell you guys about where I experienced this firsthand. The first one was when I was stationed here back at Ramstein. I used to work in a facility where there was a mixture of Americans and Germans together. This particular facility got really warm during the summertime, really warm. So what did we do? We used to open the windows, right? And these windows were kind of high up. They had the little, turn thing that you had to crank the window open. Y'all might know what I'm talking about. But anyway, we'd open the windows to let kind of the heat out and a little bit of cool in. Most of the Germans did not like this. They would complain and say, hey, uh, what's this window open? I don't want to get sick. Why do you have this window open? And I used to think to myself, what do you mean you don't want to get sick because the window is open? Like, how, how are you gonna get sick because the window is open? So, you know, I didn't think anything of it, whatever. The second instance I had was more recent. This one was on a train this past summer. Now, besides the fact that one of the things to keeping corona at bay is keeping fresh air going and not letting the air sit so people can be breathing in each other's output, it's also pretty hot on the trains. Anybody who rides the trains knows what I'm talking about. It gets pretty warm on there. It just so happens I found a seat that was where a window was already open. I sat in the seat and you know the windows, they sit at the top and they just kind of tilt open like that. So this window was already tilted. There was a lady behind me and she was polite. She was, she was nice about it, asked me if I could close the window because as the train moved forward, the wind came in and kind of went backwards towards her. I was reluctant because in my mind, I'm like, uh, it's warm on this train. Do you really want to close the only window that's open? older lady you know what i mean i don't want to upset anybody that's older i looked at her strange i knew exactly why she wanted me to shut the window though and i just closed the window but that led me to actually dig into this and see if it's an actual thing lo and behold it's a thing let it be known that i don't judge for this however they want to treat their lives it's just that it's a little bit aggravating that the germans being so advanced as they are smart people don't know that it's not the wind that causes sicknesses those things are caused by germs and or viruses. That's how you get sick. If you're typically unhygienic and you stay dirty, you keep your hands dirty, you keep your face dirty, you're always putting your hands in your mouth and things like that, that's gonna get you sick. If you like licking the bottom of your shoes, that's gonna get you sick. If you eat bad food, that's gonna get you sick. If somebody already in contact with germs or virus or a sickness comes in contact with you by sneezing or coughing or laughing, spitting, licking, that's gonna get you sick. A comforting breeze when it's too warm, that's gonna get you feeling cooler. I mean, whether or not you know it, it's no different from the air that you're feeling while you're out at a park. 
It's that same air, but in abundance in comparison to the slight breeze that you're feeling coming through a window. What's the difference? But it will not be the cause of an illness or sickness. So Germans, I love you guys, but you're better than this. Let's be a little more mindful of how we treat air, wind, breeze, Durchzug. It's only air. I'm out.